732 AD, year 110 of the Hijira. After many years, our people have finally found another glorious leader to follow, seeking vengeance for the defeat of our armies at the hands of the Franks over ten years before. Abd ar-Rahman al-Gafiki has rallied our armies for another campaign. Bred on the battlefield, al-Gafiki is no stranger to the ways of war. Having waged war on the Visigoths, Asturians, and Franks, his most recent exploit was the quelling of a rebellion by the Berber governor in Catalonia. If we are to invade the land of the Franks, we must make a dangerous crossing of the Pyrenees. To arrive at the other side in time to start our campaign in the spring, we will be forced to start this journey in the dead of winter. The rugged terrain is difficult for armies to cross, and ambushes will almost certainly be frequent. Many men will not survive the journey. I grow old, but I will make this journey through the frigid mountains so that I might see another year of conquest. The passes through the Pyrenees are treacherous and crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey ahead of you. Brace yourself for frigid winds and be wary of enemy ambushes. We must reach the Allied camp on the other side of the mountains before the cold of winter claims us all.
charge. Dorian fortress lies just ahead. We do not have the means to capture it. We should turn around. Traverse this pass quickly, lest the cold winds sap us of our strength. Thank <laughs> you. 
Humble village, my lord. Allow our blacksmith to upgrade your weapons. Lusa, Anna, Anna, Lusa. Lusa, Anna, Lusa, Anna, a city. And now.
Captain Hatame. The one. The main road to the southeast is guarded by two enemy fortresses. We must take the mountain pass to the northeast. Pray to Allah, it is the last. Jemef. Come <laughs> on. 
An Astorian cup. Still let us fall upon it as wolves closing in for the kill. <laughs> Final busk ambush stands between us and our goal. Press forward and fight bravely. <laughs> the Pyrenees. Let us make camp, eat, rest, and then continue our conquests. <laughs> Truly, I have not endured such a trying journey in the entirety of my life. The cold and cruel winds were like nothing I have ever experienced. 
and the fear of enemy ambushes lurking behind every bend is enough to drive a man mad. Between the elements and enemy blades, many of our men perished on the crossing. Nevertheless, we arrived in considerable force on the other side. It is more than many hoped for. We have little time to rest and recover our strength. The Franks will not lie waiting forever. 